Have you ever experienced a sudden onset of severe pain in your foot after eating red meat to reach a point that you could not walk on it? This condition is called gout attack. My name is Dr. Amir, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Gout is a type of arthritis. Typically, it affects one joint, especially in the big toe. The pain comes suddenly in attacks. It can last for a few days, then it will disappear without any pain in between attacks. Sometimes the pain is very severe that it might require a doctor's visit for painkiller injection. During the attack, the joint in the big toe is hot, red, swollen, and very tender to touch. Sometimes gout can affect other joints like the ankle or the knee. What causes this condition? Gout is a genetic disease. It is due to the presence of high uric acid in the blood. But not everybody who has high uric acid in the blood will get the gout. It will happen in only 25% of all high uric acid cases. There are two sources for uric acid. The first one is when our bodies produce it from a substance called purine which comes from our constantly dying cells. The second source is from eating different foods which are high in purines. Normally, our body can get rid of the excess uric acid by dumping it in the urine. When the uric acid is very high in the blood, it can get deposited in the joints in its crystals form, causing inflammation. And in the long term, it can accumulate in the urine over the years and can cause a kidney stone. So it is very important for patients with gout to avoid foods that have high purines to prevent further attacks. For example, red meats, liver, tuna, sardines, and shellfish have high purines, the same as spinach, mushrooms, cauliflower, and beans. I have a patient who gets a gout attack whenever he eats fatty food like butter. Another patient gets it from drinking alcohol or sweetened drinks with fructose like soda. Also, it can even happen after taking some medications like diuretics or aspirin. What about the treatment? Gout is a chronic disease and there is no cure for it. Usually, for an acute attack, we give anti-inflammatory medications to relieve the pain and reduce the inflammation. In severe cases, we use cortisone or even a strong medicine called colchicine. For patients with recurrent attacks, it is important to use medications to prevent them by reducing the uric acid level in the blood and keep it below 6 mg per deciliter, which will also prevent the uric acid stone formation in the kidneys. Some people might have high uric acid level in the blood, but don't get gout attacks. For those patients, we don't necessarily have to treat them with medications, but it is recommended to reduce the foods which are high in purines. I hope you enjoyed my topic today. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until I see you again, I would like to wish you a happy, healthy life.